I'm Charlie Pollard, and I love drumming. I started playing drums when I was 11. I was in the choir, and they wanted you to do something other than play piano and sing. They wanted you to play another instrument. Drums, they're pretty cool. Um, I like rock bands. I like all that kind of stuff. So let's give it a go. And I took it through school, took it through A-levels, uh, did it at university, and I'm still doing it now. Practicing mm, is it's difficult right now. Uh, I do have my kit set up, but the issue is I'm in a semi-detached house. So often what happens is I'll start and then I'll get a bang on the door. <laughs> Shut up from the neighbor. For me, practice, the most important stuff anyway, um, is to do with your finger work, to do with your wrist strength. Um, so I use a practice pad, which I'm just constantly tapping on or using stips and just going as fast as I can, uh, practicing rudiments, stuff like that. That's what I really sort of focus on. And speed, obviously, because as a metal drummer, that's important. It's difficult, but there are ways around doing it. If I'm ever doing a live gig, uh, normally you just have to do whatever they send you. So you sent a jazz piece, you have to play it. You sent a rock piece, you have to play it. sent a ballad you have to play it so i have to learn at very least the basics of them i prefer the faster stuff and the harder stuff just because that's the music i like more uh, and it's also a lot more like heart pumping that sort of fast-paced aggressive stuff that, that to me is more interesting and more lively I have a nice 14-inch, uh, quite thin, uh, Tama Swing Star snare. Really nice, crisp, clean sound. It was actually originally a jazz uh, snare, I believe. But as far as me, personally, I've sort of more focused on tuning it and making the skins to where it has that nice, clean attack on it. So it really, really cuts through, when, especially when I'm playing live as well. It's a really, really nice drum. I have loads and loads of toms, but I only use two for my setup. And again, just gives that little bit of spice when you're on the, when you're doing solos or fills or whatever. Same thing with the floor tom. I've got a um, 16 inch, great big, um, lovely thing. You usually use them when you're, you're playing the fills. You can sometimes ride on a little bit more. Kick drums, I've got two of them um, because I'm, I go fast uh, quite a lot of the time. Uh, I don't always bring two out, but when I do, it gets serious. <laughs> so cymbals wise, I've got a hi-hat. It's the one you hear most commonly when you're playing drums. It's the, the one that makes the sort of backbeat. Um, for the sound. Rides, I've got a beautiful Zildjian one, good bell on it as well, nice clean sound, thus the beautiful one. Crashes, I've got three that I use. For the most part, I really rely on the bass too, that is the Zildjian, a custom, nice crisp little bang, uh, really impact one, it's one where you hit it and the sound just goes like that straight away. I've got a minor crash cymbal as well, which is a, a bit more of an interesting one, something that you can sort of add in there just to sort of make the listener go, what's that? got a splash symbol it's a really small one uh, it's more an effect symbol I don't often bring it to gigs uh, unless I'm sort of showing off which is something I do like to do can't lie <laughs> that's just a really high pitched nice attack one there and I've got a China as well 
uh, I flip between two, um, either a big one or a small one, they're both minor. You don't often get that in a lot of jazz stuff, um, but it's often used whenever I'm playing breakdowns in metal, and it's just a nice, it's just a really, really hefty sound like that. Cowbell, um, nice little sound you can sometimes have a little bit of fun on, especially whenever you're playing a solo. Wood blocks, it's on. That sort of sound, whenever I'm playing stuff like David Bowie, because he sometimes has songs like Less Dance, where he's got some wood block stuff going on in there, and that can be nice to add, especially when you're playing live. Brushes, when you have a brush, it's much quieter completely different style of sound. In that case, the drums really aren't much a part of the mix as they are just something to sort of add a little salt and pepper on the top. I use different beats. Depends on what sort of song I'm doing, what sort of band I'm with. For jazz, yeah, you've got you've got a bunch of different ones as well. There's some of the simple ones that I'll do every now and then. But yeah, there's loads that I use. With a lot of my uni band, it was a simple, straightforward rock beat. Often what happens is it, the better drummers really just focus on getting that right because that is the most important thing and getting that clean sound is what makes good drummers amazing ones in my opinion. For me though, whenever I'm, I'm sort of having a little bit more fun in the metal world, there's faster ones that use a lot of double bass pedal. I quite often use that, especially when I'm playing with some of my metal friends. There is something called the blast beat, which I have only recently started to get into a little bit more, but it's really for the extreme sort of stuff there. It's just really just a war of sort of noise. Right in your face. Hardcore beats, it's not super in your face as much as blast beats are, but it still has that effect of making people want to sort of run around and slap each other. For me, that's the main ones I use when I play metal. So what's next? Well, I've got lots of bands in the work, a uh, couple of different projects I'm working on, loads and loads of contacts that I can sort of use, uh, and I'm getting involved, and that's, that's probably the most important thing I'd say, just whatever you're doing, especially music-wise, just get involved and uh, keep on drumming.